to build the OS update package it's for an MC9090 with Windows Mobile 5.0 we're going to make an upgrade package to version H of the OS which is also BSP39 we download our zip file unzip it here and it's going to give us all these files for an OS update there are really only three files that you need from this unzip if we're going to build a custom OS update. Power Micro is something that's just unique to this build so we need that for this one as well so these are the four files we'll need to create our OS update package and as you can see I copied them to this folder already. This folder is ABOS update. Okay. I also have within this OS update we're going to create, I want to create my own application partition. If you notice here in the zip file that you can get from the symbol download site, the or Motorola download site, the uh, application partition it's 24 meg. It is basically going to repartition and blank out the application partition that's on the terminal. So what we're going to do is create our own custom. And right now I'm just going to put two files in it. I want this file. It's two registry files. One's network bubble. It takes care of a network prompt screen that comes up and WCS options which is a registry file that handles the options portions of the fusion radio drivers so to create our OS update package we're gonna say file new and we want to save it in the same directory we have our files which is the ABOS update that I put all my copied all my files into and we want to call it relative to what it is and we're gonna say MC9090 OS update or BSP oops, BSP 39 OS and OPP is the file name you need to put at the end we're gonna say save so this brings us up to the OS update package builder you see our package name is already there device type any Windows Mobile 5.0 terminal its device type is Magneto that's our code name for it 9090 that you see here if you selected this you're telling this OS update package builder to build you a CE50 package but we're going to do Magneto so we have our four files that are listed here uh, you see it created our pack, uh, project file so we want to put these four files in these four files get added as packages okay. and you want to do um, the OS last so we'll do our monitor we will add our power micro we will add our splash screen and then we will add our OS so I said I wanted to create a custom application partition with these two files in it how we're going to do that is we're going to say file windows mobile application image Let's just save our package. So we're going to select that. The root folder is the folder that will contain all the files that you want to put into the application partition. Anything in that directory will be contained in the application directory. So I say I'm going to select with app. That's where my files are. This is the with app directory anything in here will be put into the application directory these two files will go into the root if you had a directory here and then files under that then it would be represented on the terminal once it's rebuilt as a directory under application and then those files would sit under that directory so anything in this directory is going to be put on the terminal in the same order and so what we're creating is a car file. A car file is like a compressed cab. We're going to say app, options, and bubble dot car. So put the car at the end. We're going to say open. So my root folder is the directory where it's going to get all the files from. My image file is my car file. Where am I going to put that? And I'm just putting that uh, in the same place as my other Airbeam OS update file. So we'll say OK. It says generating package. So in, in this directory, you'll see there's my car file. And that is your application directory. 
So I say application, image file, app opt bubble, and so there is my application directory. Now, all these files, once we build an OS package, the APF file, and load it to MSP and deploy it to the terminal, uh, all those packages in that application directory will be installed. So that those will be really the only files that are put in the application directory, along with some pre-existing files. But those registry files won't merge unless we say clear persistent storage. So let's check this box. What that box is going to do, it's going to tell the terminal, after you've done your OS update, I want you to do a clean boot. And the clean boot is what does the merge. So once the clean boot's done, those two registry files will merge. The terminal will come up, it'll start up, and uh, it'll be, we'll be on our way. Have a freshly OS updated terminal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say file. Let's just save it again. We want to generate our Airbeam package. We'll give it a version, BSP39A. So if I wanted to make changes in the future, I can always do that. Make it B. Uh, my output directory is where my Airbeam, the OS update package project exists. So it will be saved there. The OS update utility, these are just pre-existing, predefined. Those will add some files to it based on your selection for Magneto. Um, client directory, leave this alone because when this goes wirelessly to the terminal, it's going to store in temp and load from temp. License file, you'll need a license file in order for this to take unless the terminal already has a license. And you'll need to include the images because this will include the images in your APF file that you can upload to MS. Creates the package, and that's pretty much it. There's your APF file. That file can be loaded into MSP, and once that's done, uh, you can send it to your sites and download it to a terminal. And what you're going to see is all your files included, as well as a couple extra files that uh, are specific to MSP.